for what I had. I, I left early. I mean, last time I was here. Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Dylan, Hannick? He's not down here yet. Uh, he's not down here yet. Absolutely. How long is he going to be gone? Okay. All right. Because he has a proposal due today. I'm going to get him to do his proposal first, if that's okay. And then I'll send him down. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. What would you do? Um, football. Good answer. He's faking an injury. Yeah, I'm faking an injury. Trying to call out one right now. Pansy. Yes. Can I use your extra one? Yes. Isn't today your birthday or something? Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. How old are you today? Yeah, 16. Nice. <laughs> Dylan, yeah, you left that here last year. Don't worry about that right now. I need your proposal. You need to go first, and I need it now. Oh, all right. Because as soon as you're done with your little presentation to me, then you got to go to the uh, high school office. The high school office? Yes, sir. All right. Hang out for a second, guys, online. I'll be with you in a moment. Waiting on you. Well, where did we leave off last time? We left off. Pull up a chair, brother. Pull up a chair. Okay. So, oh Watch the camera. Let's see what you got here. All right, so what is this? Right mean, there is the house on the outside, the exterior. This is the exterior gable end of, uh, in addition? Is this all underground? Yeah. Right okay. There's like support. I see your uh, roof layout here. Six foot slider, window. Studs. Where's the chimney going to be on this side? Over here. Yeah. Two foot by two foot windows. Is that what those no, are? No, that was, that was just a uh, yeah. That was just like a sketch of my idea, just like going in there. And on the back, I started to uh, kind of draw out the. Oh, uh, the fireplace is going to look like. Yeah. Nice. Okay. The fireplace is going to be on this wall over here. Like this wall is coming back like this, right? There's the fascia. Okay. And the fireplace is going to be somewhere over here. Let's do this. Can we add this window in here? And can we make them three by three? Yeah. That's a little bigger, a little more light. Okay. Evenly spaced. I'm just going to write even on here. Now, what I need from you your next project, you have two weeks to get it done. Right. I want an estimate as to how estimate. much this whole project is going to cost. Right. Well, I'll tell you an estimate. But I want a breakdown of how much it's going to cost. Like how much is the framing? How much is the labor? How much? Is, I want a breakdown of everything. Like everything. everything. All right. I want a breakdown of everything. Well, I was already looking at stone hearts. About how much it costs to install one. It's already about $35,000. Okay. That's fantastic. Build that into your estimate. All right. Anything else that you want to tell me about? Ask me anything you want to add in here while I'm here? No, I think that's it. I like the sketch so far, but I want an estimate to see how much it's going to cost to see if we can take it to the next level. Sounds great. Okay. You have a great rest of your day. Thank you, sir. Good communication. Like it. That's how you do a proposal, folks. Good communication. Focus. Stuff like that, okay?
Holy crap balls. Sweet. Hey, uh, you headed to the office? Yep. All right, write down on that piece of paper where you're going. Okay, Hannah did his presentation. Nicely done. Who wants to go next? I have a question. Huh? What? Yeah, a bottle of wine. Yeah, a shot. Yeah. I'll go next. Okay. You can grab one of these chairs, pull it up. Move that box out of the way, too. That Jake this side of the way, I guess. All right. All right. I'm doing a bot or bathroom remodel. Bathroom remodel? Yeah, in the bath, it's going to be like up against the wall. It's going to be glass, you said. I mean, the shower. Okay. I'm gonna look at the way how to make it like the bath too. Okay, herringbone on the floor. What's this here? That's the bathtub, but I didn't make it the way it should have been. Okay. So what you'll need eventually is you'll need to draw the bath like this. Here's your sink. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Here's a toilet. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming the shower is over here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So eventually, not in this next step, eventually you'll need some sort of floor plan so I can visualize this a little bit better. Okay. Okay. So like an overhead view. Yeah. It's called a floor plan. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. You don't need to get that much detail in the toilet. Okay. I understand this kind of gives you a little bit of a gist, but um, four, foot by, four foot by four foot tile shower. Um, the tile in the shower, I want subway tile. You'll be able to look it up and you'll see. That's what I want in the shower. I also want a niche, a niche, a niche, 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 whatever. Little cubby hole for you. Yeah, basically to put soap and stuff like that on. Mm -hmm. You said you wanted a uh, like a footrest in there or like a stool. Yeah. Like, so if you were looking like, say, here's the shower here. Yeah. It's got okay. like a little seat basically. And it's got like a door like this mm -hmm. coming into the shower. I want like just a little right here would be footrest. And I would suggest putting the shower head here. If this is where the shower goes, this is where it goes. Yeah. Okay. But the shower head here, so then all the plumbing will be in this wall. Oh, okay. So you can have access from the backside. Okay. This wall is going to have to be a regular two by four wall, three and a half inches. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three and a half inches plus drywall on one side, then the thickness of backer board and the thickness of tile on the other side. So it's going to end up being about five inches thick total. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to write that there. All right. Yep. You can get away with just a wall here and do a pan. Like here's the drain. Mm -hmm. And this all glass, okay. and the glass will glass company will do that. Okay, but you're going to need to make sure you have proper dimensions so you can call a glass company, mm -hmm. tell them what you're doing that it's for school, and you need an estimate on a price for a glass door. Okay, it's so going to give you options, make the decisions. Okay, okay. Yep. But when you make the decisions, make sure you write the things down. Okay. My suggestion. I can't write. Jog a glass. Look up their number. Give them a call. Okay. I want an estimate. Okay. How much this bathroom is going to cost me? I don't need drawings or anything like that yet. But you have two weeks to give me a number. Okay. Okay. I know exactly what you're doing, and I already have a number in my head. Okay. Sounds good. I have no budget. You understand? Yeah. I have an unlimited amount of money. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go next? It's fine, Landon. Just hang out for a minute. Listen to what these guys are doing. D Landon Spencer. Yeah, D Landon Spencer. Be careful of that yes. camera. Yeah, So, okay. I'm remodeling the kitchen and get the form. Before Mike, um, countertops like you'd like, 
And then the dishwasher right across from the sink. That's cool. <clears throat> in the island. And then the dotted line, like at the key at the top, left, there's like yeah. the dotted lines or the, cup, the cupboards. The so, upper cabinets? Yeah. The top. Oh, it's cabinets, yeah. Same thing. Upper cabinets is what they're called. <clears throat> I'm just going to write upper cap there. Okay. Countertops are three foot tall. Yeah, that makes sense. Room is eight foot tall. Okay. Wooden floor. <clears throat> What's that mean? Oh, it's like um, it's wooden. What species? Oak wood. Okay, so it's oak. Now, this oak floor is it just a standard hardwood floor? It's in like it's in like rectangles. Okay, we're well gonna have to wooden floor. a standard wooden floor. Yeah. A standard wooden floor gets installed, sanded, stained, then clear coated. Okay, so it's a standard hardwood floor. Okay, oak hardwood. When you do your estimate. You're going to need to find out the square footage of the room because the floor, before it gets finished, is going to have to be installed first. This is the very first step in this situation. And it's going to have to be covered with ram board or paper so it's protected. Then when everything's done, then it can be finished. Okay? I like the design so far. Fridge. Okay? Drawers. I get you. <clears throat> okay. You have two weeks to give me an estimate on this kitchen. I'm going to write down a name. You're going to have to find the number for Chardon Lumber. You're going to have to get a hold of Anna Schrock. She's a kitchen design person. Okay. She's who I've used for years. Tell her what you're doing. Tell her who your teacher is. And tell her that you need an estimate on cabinets. It's the best way you're going to get an estimate on cabinets. You tell her like the square footage of the cabinets? Or like My suggestion, if you can, if you can make it possible, feet, please. Go there and meet with her if you can. Okay, so my dad works out there. So okay, so I can try. You have two weeks. I need an estimate for the entire cost of that kitchen. No, I could like email. You can maybe email back and forth. Sure. Sure. Yeah, if you can scan that in at home or something or take a picture of it and email it. Nice job, Ryan. Yeah. All right, who's next? <clears throat> Do I have to eliminate the volunteer portion of this? Oh, okay. All right. All right, what do you got? Uh, sunroom. sunroom. Mr. S. Sunroom. What's this big square here? That's my sunroom. Yeah, but what's this? That's glass. Wow, that's a giant wall of glass. Well, gotta let that sunlight in. What's that? Sunlight's gotta get in there. Okay, how big is this room? Uh, 16 by 16. 16 by 16, okay, there's my house. This is the roof layout? Yeah. Okay. What's this in the middle here, this big X? That's not what I'm actually going to do, but I'm going to have some sort of support, so I'll just have one big sheet of glass. Oh, okay. So we're going to do some, you're going to do like uh, skylights? Yeah. Okay. May I make a suggestion? Yeah. Can I write on this? Yeah. Make this as steep as you can. Can you steeper? We live in an area where snow load is an issue. 
the steeper it is, the faster the snow is going to get off of the roof. Okay. What side of the house do you want? I don't care. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What's the flooring like in here? It's going to be uh, the, you know, like little stones that people have. For, I don't know what so, um, they call it in the south, they call it Chattahoochee Stone. Yep, make sure you sign up. Um, I can't remember what they call it up here, but you'll be able to do some research. I'm gonna write that down for you. I don't know if that's how it's spelled, but. Okay, so that's the floor. All right. Uh, what did you say this was? 16 by 16? Yeah. Okay, so next time when you do a proposal, just write that like that. 16 by 16, you can put a little footmark or something. Okay. Um, how do I get in and out of this room? Flip it over. That's your house. Okay, is there any way? That's like the road view. Okay. Okay, so in a situation like this, you would write existing home. Okay. So, what size door is that? Um, two. So two six. two six. Okay. I'm gonna do a change order. All right. I want a six foot slider here. And right straight in line with it. I want another six foot slider so I can go outside. Okay. Wall of all windows. You'll need to figure out the dimensions of the windows and so on and so forth. So like you would put like a six foot window here, or I'm sorry, a five foot window, probably more like a four foot window. So four, eight plus six is, 12, is 14. The total is 16 foot, right? So you'd put like a four foot window here and a four foot window here. But I have structure issues having the massive windows. No, because you'll be able to have a post here, a post here post here and post here. You'll have a header over this door that'll support, well, the whole wall will probably be header so it can uh, support the load. And you want? And I want windows everywhere, man. Everywhere. I want skylights. You do, you can do standard four foot windows. You do or you can do like a five or a six foot window in the middle and a four and a four and a six foot and a four and a four. You know what I'm saying? So that sounds pretty good. Don't you think? Yeah. That gives you space for posts. And then. Um, What's on the exterior? What kind of siding is it? I have. It's fine. Okay. Or, whatever your preference is. Here's what I want you to use for siding. I want to use a product called Hardy. Okay. It's composite siding, it's concrete based. The reason why I want you to use it is it'll match my house better. My house has redwood siding on it, but it's painted. You can paint Hardy siding. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I just have regular asphalt, three tab shingles. You want me to write that down? Yeah, sure. Sure, you don't want to throw some tin on it. I don't want tin on it. I don't like the way it looks. And I can't afford standing seam, which is a real metal roof. The metal roofs that are going on everybody's houses now should not be going on their houses, and they're going to regret it in a few years. I just got it. The neoprene washers that go on those screws that hold that roof down, they will fail. 
those kind of roofs are for barns. But everybody's doing it. The real metal roof is called standing seam, but it's extremely expensive, but it lasts for 70 years. So what if it seems different from there, there is no different fastener for that. I don't know. That's just the way it's made. So, all right. Good job. All right, I got Elijah, James, and Lizzie and Zach left. I hope you guys are listening to this and paying attention. This will be good practice for you. Okay, what's this? It looks like a stereo. That is the grill. It's the grill. Yes. It's a grill for what? What is this? Your outdoor kitchen. Outdoor kitchen? Yes. I was going to ask you if you wanted an oven underneath the grill. But I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I just think in your fridge for the radio. And then down here, you're going to have tape. It's going to be like a, a bar setup kind of, like a bar table. And then you can have cupboards under. Uh, and this is all on a deck? Would you like it on a deck or would you like it on? I mean, it could be on a patio. It could be on a concrete slab. I don't care. That's fine. Uh, anything covering this roof wise? We could. What would you like? Don't you think that it would be a little more protected? Yes. How do you want me to draw the roof on the paper? Well, let's not worry about that yet. But, uh, so are there cabinets over here? I mean, I don't. Yes, there's cabinets. This is looking down on it? Yes. Okay. What what is what are these numbers? Twenty seven. Oh, that, that's as those is what each thing costs. Ah. Sorry, so, the cost thing out of. What uh, what are the countertops made of? Uh, I never got to ask you that. What would you like them? I'd like concrete countertops. Okay. What you're going to need to do for your estimate is figure out the square footage. There's no dimensions on here. I don't know how big any of this is. How big is this? Do you have any idea? Okay. Are you going to have to figure that out? Um, how big is this grill? Uh, it's the biggest one. Is this to scale? No, I wasn't very Okay. Well, you're going to have to do a lot of work over the next two weeks to figure out some more specific details on this. I don't care what the appliances are. Okay. The refrigerator's a cool idea. I like it. The sink, of course, is a good idea. And the grill. What else do you need besides cupboards underneath? And concrete top. Now, everything's got to be weatherproof. Everything does. You got two weeks to give me an estimate. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Down to three. Elijah, Lizzie, or Zach? Anyone? I'll tell you what. Let me finish attendance, and then we'll get to somebody. I can show you, but it's not complete yet. Let me do this first. Andrew with five points. Lance Grogan with four points. <clears throat> Dean Quadros, three points. 
points. Two points. Logan Martin with one point. Bonus point. Rick Benton is here. Alex Sullivan is here, but apparently didn't want to get up this morning. And Lane Spencer is here. Where's RJ? Okay, RJ is the only one that's missing. All right, who's up? Lizzie Elijah or Zach Jones? Three weeks wasn't enough. Do you want the truth or do you want a lie? I always want the truth. I didn't start till Monday and I didn't work on it till I just got back into it. I never asked you all it's okay as long as you're prepared for answers. Let's do it. This is my library. Is this looking down? Uh, yes, this is overhead. Why do you have two toilets in here? Uh, female and male. This is a private library, brother. This is just a room in someone's house. Didn't you see the video in my private library? Yeah. That's just a room in someone's house that we turned into a I library. Have a whole library. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't think we need that. You don't want that? No. No. I don't. I'm not a billionaire. Okay. Well, I mean, you got 24 by 24 by 9. It's big. Jeez, it's massive. This is like a whole library. I just want a private library. So you just want like let's say my room is four. Let's let's pretend that my room is fourteen foot by sixteen foot. Okay. Okay. It's fourteen by sixteen, and the entranceway is right here. All right. Like this. Okay. And there's two windows here. Don't care what size they are. This is an existing room in my house. I would like to have it be a library, which means I'm going to need bookshelves all over the place and a sitting area in the middle where I can sit and read my books. Let's say this is 14 and this is by this is 16. That's a private library. This that's a library. That's a little that's a little cray. It's a little cray cray. Yes. You up to speed? Yes. Give me an estimate in two weeks. Okay. I'm giving you carte blanche for your own design. <laughs> I sure as heck don't need boys and girls' bathrooms. You ready? You're what? You're on video. Can't say that. So, your stuff's at home. What's that mean? Okay. You're going to be here tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay, bring it tomorrow. Okay. Elijah, what's happening back there? Coming up there now, sir. Woo! What was your project? Uh, patio, I think. Patio, you think? Which one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. What is this? The house? Oh no, this is like I was. I had a brilliant idea. That's why you can see like it's not sketched with a ruler because I was in my car. And it's I okay. A brilliant idea. Yeah. So this is either gonna be where if you want a pool or if you want like the grill on there. And then this is a separate area if you wanted the grill for the kids. So is this like a step down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a step. Yeah. Okay, here's what I want then. I want this to be stamped concrete. Right. I guess I'm going to show you. 
I thought it was just shirt. <laughs> It has to be prepped properly or it will be cracked and destroyed. You need to do research. Proper prep, costs for prep, costs for the concrete. I need sizes. How big is this? Um, this way. That's about how big you want. Good answer. I want this rough area to be 18 by 14. Do what you want here to scale it out to what this is. You understand what I mean by that? This is clearly a little bit smaller. But I like the step down idea. That's kind of cool little own, you know, put a table and chairs here or something like that. I like it. You have two weeks to give me an estimate. Plenty of time. Not only here, let me see that back. Feet off my desk, please. I want it stained. Also, stamped and stained. Okay. I want it preserved. I want it clear coated. I want it to last forever. Start doing the research. You have the technology. No excuses. Yes. Sir. I'd start working on your estimates right quick because it's going to take every bit of two weeks to figure out how much everything costs. You guys got your Chromebooks? I already got one. figure out. What kind of backer board are you going to use in the shower? What waterproofing system? Black seal. <laughs> Write this down. <laughs> Write this down. W E D I. Pronounced weedy. It's a German product. Every shower I've ever built, I've used weedy as backer. You can get pans, everything. Now, write this down also. All floors, Cleveland. You can get everything for tile there, including weedy products. Weedy products. W E D I. All you got to do is look their number up and call them. No, what's backing? That's the backer board. That's the stuff that goes on the wall before the tile goes on the wall. Oh. Got two by fours, your framed walls, then the weedy goes on. Okay. And that's the waterproof. Oh, okay. I see You're gonna need something for yourself. So you can figure out how much material you need to so figure out how much the material is. Here's the key thing, folks. Figuring out material is easy. All you got to do is research online. Make some phone calls to the specific people that I've given you, some of you. But the other thing you're going to need to figure out is labor. How much it's going to cost. No, you can't use illegal Mexicans. Amish. They know what they're doing. I don't want you to use Amish either. And they do? I mean, they'll get it done every day. Shelf passes put up Okay, you guys online Andrew, Lance, Dean, Vance, Logan, Eric, Alex, and Landon. Bye. No. You see how this is going? Tomorrow, I want your proposals. Those of you that are cohort B, those of you that are online students, Andrew, you should be working on your estimate already. Um, Andrew, I want your estimate to me in two weeks, just like everybody else. So here's the deal, your estimates, I want a breakdown. 
I want to know how much labor is going to be. I want to know how much material is going to be. Okay. For my suburb, is there like a foundation already? You got to do foundation, bro. You can do it on a slab. How do I do that? Research it. How do I draw a draft? How do I draft the floor? Hold on a second. So would you want me to call people to see how much the labor is? I have the prices for all the things that I'm buying. Yes, Landon, that's exactly what I want you to do. Research online, how much would labor be for this, blah, blah, blah. This whole project is more about doing the research than anything else. I have maybe some things over here that might help you folks. No. I look real now. Remember what's what? You can share it. Hold up. Hey. Who got out of jail? Take a line. Jail's a bad place. Put that back, please. Yeah. You have to go to the other one. Okay. Who's doing um, you know who's doing kitchen? I'm doing it down. You bring it down. Maybe you bring it down. Check some down. of this stuff out, guys. Cross sections. Things like how big the window of her closet. This is a master bathroom right here. Huh? Millionaire's home. Look, there's a new bath. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, 25 years, dude. Okay. So there's this. There might be, there should have been a kitchen layout or something. Here's a sketch. You want to see sketches? That's what sketches look like for a proposal. This is the bathroom. Here's a kitchen plan. Check this out. Calitzis. Yeah. Check out this kitchen plan. It goes wall by wall. Here. Wall by wall. Cabinets where the windows go. All kinds of stuff. Archways. Here's a fireplace. Oh, he's gone. See all this? Drawers and stuff like that. This is what it kind of look like. When you guys call people, tell them that you're in Tech 2 class. Tell them who your teacher is. Tell them why you're doing it. Tell them to check out the so forth. What? Yeah, these are just sketches. Yeah, this is the grill terrace. Oh look, herringbone. Master bath floor pad pattern. Okay. See that? Yeah, I was gonna get my things in my Here is this, it's more detailed here. Okay, mudroom, dining room, keeping room. Whatever the hell that is, we can come up with just the whack out stuff. Hey, kitchen boy. Come here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's five minutes more. Look at this kitchen. Oh, it's got the island. Yeah, island, dining table, uh, pantry. I got like a What's this? Lily's Ranch Home. Here you go. I said I'll get Jake. Cross section. I'll just concrete slab. 
footer, block, this will have all your answers. This is for based on what I'm saying. This is not. This is different. Any of these prints you guys are welcome to look at to reference to get ideas from at any point in time. Okay, there's even a gas station in here somewhere. Why that matters, I don't know. No one's doing anything commercial. Okay, and no, the prints aren't clean because they've been on job sites. Yeah, contractor friends gave me some prints, some of mine. I got more coming too, so I don't care about the rest of your job site prints. They get thrown around and get stepped on. So, could I hire you? Not anymore. I'm a teacher now. Sometimes. I wasn't supposed to last summer, but I did. Anyway, because I'm stupid. What's that? Jobs for you. Like these are for your house. This is all pretend, folks. I know we're getting into too many. Like, all right, I'll do my best. Not sure I'm going to find the right people to call. No, they don't have to be local. And you know how to find the right people you call? Research. All right, I'm logging off. End of the period here is uh, very, very shortly. Like right now. Have a good day.